I'll give you an update on the ongoing probe on the contaminated sugar because the police have recovered bags of sugar that are suspected to be contaminated and unfit for human consumption within the riverside area. That's in Ruaka, right here in the capital. In an undercover operation, a consignment of over 600 kilograms of suspected contaminated sugar was discovered after information from the public that the sugar they had bought had strange pellets. Now this, as Azimio leaders promised Kenyans to unearth the names of politicians and businessmen involved in the disappearance of 20,000 bags of contaminated sugar that had been stored at the Kenya Bureau of Standards Warehouse next week. Chris Tairu reports. Same, same. As investigations into the disappearance of 20,000 bags of contaminated sugar that had been seized and stored by the Kenya Bureau of Statistics Caves enters its second week, police on Wednesday working on a tip-off from the public recovered more than 600 kilograms of sugar suspected to be contaminated within Riverside area in Ruaraka. The raid, which focused on some retail shops within the area, recovered the sugar stored in bags, while others had already been repackaged to one and two kilograms packets. According to the police, one of the members who had earlier bought half a kilo of sugar at one of the retail shops for domestic use noticed strange pellets and reported the incident. The consignment was kept as exhibit after samples were obtained and forwarded to the government chemist for analysis. The recovery of the suspicious product comes after another case in Kisi County over the weekend where consignment of suspicious sugar was found as it was repackaged for sale. The police urged members of the public to be on the lookout and report to authorities should they come across suspicious products. The raid comes only days after President William Ruto suspended 27 government officials attached to various state agencies over the disappearance of 20,000 bags of contaminated sugar that is suspected to have found its way into the market despite being condemned and seized by cabs. Eight suspects, including Kenya Bureau of Standard Cabs Managing Director Bernard Njirene, were on Monday charged over the disappearance and sale of the toxic sugar. They were released on a cash bill of 400,000 shillings. Leaders from the Azimio coalition have pointed an accusing finger to the Kenya Kwanzaa government for condoning corruption. The days of corruption and mega scandals are back in Kenya. And we started with the fertilizer scandal. We now have the sh poison sugar scandal. We have the nets, mosquito nets, Kemsa. And we have uh, the tractors from Belarus that uh, is another scandal in the making in the transport sector. The opposition have pledged to Kenyans to name and shame politicians and businessmen allegedly involved in corruption but reportedly protected by the current regime come next week. Chris Dairo, KTN News, Nairobi. Well, definitely hold the Azimio leaders to 